How to paint bath bombs with mica powder. Stay Hi, tuned. Hi, I'm Sherry and this is Buddy. He's the top dog of Lucky Dog Creation. Okay, so I have a bath bomb that I made several days ago so it is nice and hard and we're going to paint it with the mica powder and 91% alcohol. Now I tried a 99% alcohol and it activated a little bit I believe because it has these little outer circles. So I had read that you know you could either do the 91 or the 99 and they shouldn't do that so we will try the 91 and see if it does any better. I have these little condiment cups that I got from Walmart. You, some people use pallets but this probably would work just as well. I got like 50 of them for a couple of bucks and then you can just throw it away or if you want to if you have extra you can put uh, the lid on it and save it and then if it's dried you can just add a little bit more alcohol. So let's get to mixing and we'll hopefully hope for the best. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol in there and then take some mica powder and put in there. Now I don't really know how much to put in there. You just want to make it to look like a paste. I'm going to mix it with a toothpick. You don't want it too runny because if it's too runny then it's not going to stay where you want it to. And if you get it too thick then it's not going to get on there. It'll be kind of clumpy. So I'll get this all mixed up. Okay, and, and I have a stencil here that I am going to put on. I'm going to do the little acorn. And um, you can use Q-tips to paint with or you can use a paintbrush. I do think a Q-tip would work a little bit better with control, so that's what I'm going to try. And here goes. I've got a, a gold mica. And this mica powder is actually the same colorant that you use for your embeds or for your bath bombs so it's not going to stain your water and it will look really nice when it dissolves in the water. And I think this is going to turn out really really nice. My q-tip's a little bit clumpy because I stirred with it and I maybe I should have used a different q-tip but we're going to try this out and see how that works. Now the alcohol dries really, really quick. It shouldn't activate, but I'm not going to say it will or, wouldn't, will, will or won't, but we will find out. And then since it dries really quick, we should be able to shrink wrap it fairly quickly as soon as it's dry. In fact, actually, I think the paint's drying before I'm getting it all painted. And I'm going to be trying some other different um, types. I'm going to do the paintbrush. I'm going to try painting with eyeshadow because eyeshadow is made out of mica powder. And I'm going to just be painting on the bath bombs without stencils to so see how that will work. I am not a very good artist, so you know, you'll, you can laugh at me. Okay, so here is my acorn. The color turned out really, really nice. If it doesn't run, then I know that it did not activate. So uh, I'll see you when I get my other ones dried and I can start painting them. Okay, so I am going to get started with this nice little money symbol and I'm going to paint it gold and I'm going to go ahead and try using it with the paintbrush. I'm not going to do the whole thing, might make you watch that, but I'll show you how well it works and then I'll show you the finished product at the end. And I'm using a base type brush, so it's a thicker brush than most brushes are. And it looks like my um, paint is a little bit thick. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more alcohol. i got these little spoons to stir it with. And I think that might be a little bit better. And the color is nice. 
nice and bright. A lot better than the embeds that I did the other day. And there you have it, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, now I told you that uh, a lot of the eyeshadow has mica powder in it, so I put some of my L'Oreal eyeshadow in one of these cups. I'll add some alcohol and stir it up with one of my little spoons. And we'll see how that works. And I'm going to go ahead and use a stencil on this one and a Q-tip. And I don't know whether this is has only the mica powder or whether it has other ingredients I looked to see but it did not say so I really don't know whether it would be bath worthy or not I just thought it would be interesting to try and there's one of the stripes and I'll show you the finished product in a little bit okay so this one I am just going to go ahead and do it freestyle I'm going to use q-tips I'm going to use paint brushes and we'll just see what I can come up with. Just to let you know that you know you don't have to do stencils. You can you know have a lot of fun with this mica paint and your bath bombs. And we will do a little bit of eyebrows there. And maybe give them a gold tooth. All right, and then you have uh, my beautiful design. You know, you can let me know whether you like it or you think it's absolutely terrible. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to take. Um, I just took a regular sponge, cut them up, and I thought I'd try doing a little bit of sponge painting on this. Never tried it before. We'll see how that works out. What do you think? I think that turned out pretty good. Okay, I've got um, one more to do for you and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so this last one, I'm gonna try painting with a toothpick because it's got the little fine lines. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but here goes. It seems like it's going on okay, but I think it would take a very long time to get all of those lines done. I may give up and find a small brush to finish it up with. So I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so all in all, I do think uh, my paint is um, a good way to go. The colors do turn out really good. You just have to be a better artist than I am. But with more practice and stuff, I think it will be fine. Here is my leaf. I started off with the toothpick here. It's taking too long, so I went ahead and grabbed a paintbrush and finished it up. 
And there, of course, is my smiley face that I hand drew. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not an artist. And this is the one with the makeup that we tried. And uh, it does have mica powder in it, but I think it has other ingredients in it because it was a little bit harder and it clumped a little bit more. This is my sponge one. I think this was my favorite one. You just dip a household sponge into the mica paint and just dab it on. It turned out really, really good. And then on here's my first one, my money one. And then I went ahead and outlined it in black. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Uh, please comment. Hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the little bell. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I will talk to you the next time.